Alrighty, let's get this trip started. Starting off in Westminster, Maryland. Headed down to Plant City, Florida. Well, we're on the road again. Florida bound. And I still sound like crap. Right at the tail end of being sick. And it hasn't helped that the temperatures are going from 75 and then it was 35 and I just I get so congested you know I take allergy medicine every day I'm tired of taking day quill but I'm feeling better it's just like right here just a little more I'm not coughing as much it doesn't hurt to cough so we're on the tail end of things all right so sorry for the wind noise it's windy, it's raining, but I wanted to give you guys a shot after I untarped it of what we've been hauling. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the pipe. And uh, we're headed to Plant City, Florida. You know, one thing that really boils my blood is DOT sitting in the truck stop parking lot. I'm in Emporia, Virginia, which this is what the Saddler Sadler truck stop. It's like a shell station and a pilot fuel. And I've stayed here before on my way. I ran out of hours here. I was on my way back north. It's like four hours short. I got like a little restaurant bar here or whatever. And the parking lot is massive here. I mean, you couldn't fill it up. Even being right off 95, you couldn't fill it up. They got like the gravel pavement. Like it is, it's awesome. It's a good place to, to stop. But I pull in and there's DOT sitting right in the island. Like as you cut, there's like a break, like in where the fuel islands are. There's like a set over here and a set over here. And they're sitting right there as people pull in. Like, I just think that's a little awkward and a little odd. I'm parked up front right now. They have like a camper section I pulled up in real quick. I was about to pee my pants. I know it's too much information, but been on the road trying to get some things taken care of for uh, for the business. I got two new guys starting today. Uh, one hauling cars, one hauling freight. So um, I've been on the phone. Keep trucking. I didn't know they changed companies. I guess they got bought out by a place, uh, company called Motive. And I've been trying. Hold on a second. Dropping stuff. It's raining. We're in, uh, we're in Kinley. We're gonna start walking here, truck stop, and uh, take a little break. Uh, I got a carrier packet to fill out because I did, um, I did lease on two drivers, two owner operators, one running cars, one running freight, and I just booked a load for the freight guy, and uh, I gotta go, I gotta fill out a carrier packet, which is why I can't wait to have somebody in the office full time to do this kind of stuff, which will be within the next month. 800 feet trying to figure out what was holding up traffic well there's your answer well it's a lot nicer here than it is at home that's for damn sure it is uh it's april 18th and they got like four inches of snow up in my house my old house the one in pennsylvania um i know adam is stuck in it up in uh, like central PA. It was actually a hot shot that was a fatality uh, right in Hagerstown, Maryland today. I'm not gonna post any of the pictures of anything. It's terrible, it happened, it's a terrible scene. The truck was like bet in half, it's messed up. I had uh, the head of the sheriff's department from Hagerstown call me, uh, he's a friend of mine, of my family's, and called me to make sure, or text me to make sure I wasn't, it wasn't me and I wasn't in that. But thankfully, I'm down in Georgia now. Uh, we're sitting at a Cracker Barrel. We're going to go in and uh, get some good dinner. Kind of craving breakfast for uh, for dinner. And we're on Easy Street right now, man. These days where you don't have to uh, pick up or drop, you just got to get your 11 hours of driving done, are so nice. It's just relaxing. Especially with as much rain as we had. Um, well, that one came untied. 
the way I've been tying them up. But uh, it's just relaxing. You don't have to rush pick up and delivery times. And it, it's nice. So we're going to fix that strap. And uh, it's hot down here. I'm going to take this sweatshirt off. Uh, I'm not complaining about coming to Florida this time, that's for sure. I did get sunburnt this weekend. It was nice. I was sitting outside. It was probably about 70 degrees. I was outside in a t-shirt. My daughter was outside in a t-shirt. And then they get snow today. It's unbelievable this weather. But it's doing good. Uh, we'll get some dinner here. And I think we'll have probably about an hour and a half or so left to, to knock down. And uh, I wanted to stop here so I didn't have to eat truck stop food tonight. Uh, wherever we shut it down at. Just gets old. I don't mind grabbing something quick for lunch. Make sure I don't lock my keys in. I don't mind grabbing something quick for lunch. Like, uh, like from Wendy's or even, I, don't, I hate Subway, but I'll do like a, a six inch sub. But when it comes time for dinner, like I really want like a good meal. So that's why I wear a Cracker Barrel. And I love breakfast for dinner, that's for damn sure. All right, well you see those police lights back there? We are on, I'll tell you what mile marker we are. Mile marker 13, Hardyville, South Carolina. And uh, I just forgot to put this clip in, but all this traffic is backed up because a boat hauler was a 3,500 Ram. Uh, it looks like it had jackknifed somehow. Lost control and jackknifed because a whole driver's side of the truck was smashed in. Uh, but the boat itself was still on, looked to be still on the trailer or half off the trailer, but it was down in the ditch. So they've got a rotator there trying to pick up, I guess, would be the trailer. There's a big bunk. That truck. Squirrel! Um, I guess they're trying to pick up the boat in the trailer and they have a flatbed there. They're gonna put it on and get it off the highway, but uh, yeah, that looks like it's gonna be quite the expensive mistake. Um, fingers crossed they can get it taken care of and get it figured out and then maybe if it wasn't their fault, if somebody else was at fault for the accident, they could luck out, but it didn't look too good. A lot of damage on the boat and a lot of damage on the, uh, the truck itself. Well, the exit, I mean exit, the accident was mile marker 13. We're coming up on mile marker 8. Still a line of traffic. Chronicles of Jason. I know my truck. There's a fuel station. We just ran out of fuel. This close. Whoops. Well... At least if I make a video about it, it'll pay for the gas can. <laughs> and the worst part about that is I just sent all my friends a Snapchat that said, don't worry, I know my truck. Well, hopefully we can get it started back up. Well, I got her fired back up. Put about two gallon in it. I got like three gallons in the jug and was tired of standing there with one of those dummy freaking proof cans. Overpriced jerry can cost me freaking 38 bucks. So go watch this video so I can uh, pay for the gas can, I guess. So close. I just wanted to come to Love's because this was the cheapest. And that's what I get. I'm just glad this thing's got strong batteries and it fired right back up. I really didn't want to uh, have to uh, pull, fuel, pull fuel filters and fill them or crack the lines, injection lines to get this thing fired up. But we're at the pump, we're leaving it run and we're topping it all the way off. Well, let's play what's at the truck stop tonight. I just saw AAA freight movers roll out of here. As I was rolling in, I sent him a message on Instagram. I wasn't sure if it was one of uh, his drivers or it was him himself. He was coming out as I was 
sneaking in the back here. This is uh, Brunswick, Georgia. I've stayed here a couple times. Because on this back row back here, if uh, it's tight to get in in a semi, like if you have only one spot, so there's always like one random spot like in between trucks available. Because of that, it's tight to get in. Here's a nice little oversized hotshot setup right here. Special Ops trucking. Taking that for their oversized parking, I assume. Not much going on here, just a bunch of plastic trucks. Big Lamar trailer, the deck on the neck. Man, nothing to really look at. Now, if you sneak through here, there should be a truck. There she is. Ta-da! Got a bobtail beside us. And got a drop dry van. Got us a liquid death. I'm drinking the crap out of their waters here recently. You wanna see something cool? Wanna know how many miles are on this guy's trailer? 89,000. They obviously do that when the trailers are switched in between trucks. This is a extra lease truck. They don't know exactly how many miles are on them. So uh, they put those hubodometers on and they can get an accurate idea of how many miles the actual trailer has. And no, I'm not scoping out someone's trailer. It's dropped here. So don't say I'm snooping. I know someone's typing away in the comments saying I'm snooping at other people's stuff, but I was just out here doing my post trip and uh, when I walked around the trailer, I noticed them. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know if they make them for small trailers, like hotshot trailers. That'd be interesting. I would be interested to see that because I don't obviously haul the same trailer all the time, so I can't go by the odometer. It'd be nice to know uh, around about how many miles I'm getting out of tires and so I can know, like, how many miles are on the bearings and things because i just kind of do them by time as i go uh but that'd be that'd be interesting i'm gonna hop when i hop in the truck here shut it down for the night i might hop on uh, the old googler and see if i can find anything but that's it for tonight guys tomorrow drop this off plant city florida and uh, we'll get a pretty cool pickup tomorrow it is a truck that is owned by a um, Pittsburgh Pirates baseball player. It looks like he got bumped to the major leagues. So they're transferring him from Florida back up to PA. I guess maybe one of their other teams is in Altoona, PA, like one of their minor league teams where he started. Uh, so they're transporting his truck back up there for him. I guess so when he gets back to the facility, he has a ride. It's kind of cool. So I'll, uh, I'll pick it up at the facility down here in Florida. They're uh, like probably their spring training facility and pick that up and then take it to one of their, uh, I don't know how they go, double A, single A, triple A or whatever. One of their smaller teams, one of their minor league teams up in Pennsylvania. 